the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Madam Auditor, can we get a roll call of the members present, please? Councilmember Whitten. I am here. Councilmember Conover. Present. Councilmember Big. Here. Councilmember Graham. Here. Councilmember Jessen. Here. Councilmember Pepper. Here. Councilmember Rebus. Here. Commissioner Evans. Present. Commissioner Good. Here. And Commissioner Blaney. Nine present. All right, thank you very much. First thing on the agenda, or shall I say the next thing, is the approval of the April 2016 Foundation Minutes. What's your pleasure? Move. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve our Foundation Minutes uh, from April 5th, 2016. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. And moving right along, Capital Cities presentation. Capital Cities. Great. Thank you, Dan. Uh -huh. uh, We've put some material in front of you we're going to be utilizing uh, in our brief discussion today. Um, we really have just operational updates to give you, basically. So we won't be very long. We did put together kind of a mock-up of a report that you'll be seeing going forward. But a lot's happened since we were up here last when we got the investment policy statement approved. Uh, most of the assets are now invested with the... Uh, uh, exception of some bonds that are still being uh, held outside of the Schwab account. Uh, we want to thank Scott and Michelle for uh, making our lives easy in terms of getting this uh, implemented. They've been uh, very helpful with Bob in our office. Um, so if you would, just turn to pa past that first cover page. Um, this is something we use in our quarterly meetings. It's called our Considerations and Observations page, and it really kind of drives uh, agenda items in our quarterly meetings. And so today's agenda items are to give you an update on kind of the investment of the uh, of the current assets. And I'm going to turn okay. it over to Amanda. Great, thanks. So I'll be brief as well. Um, this is normally where we'll kind of set the agenda for the meeting. But again, today is mostly just operational. So we've included a lot of that detail for you on this page. And this is because as fiduciaries, uh, we like to draw your attention to kind of the things that are going on at any given time. And then for historical purposes, you can always turn back to these reports and kind of see what was discussed. We also think it helps with meeting minutes and things like that. So again, this is all operational. Uh, basically, at the end of March and through the first few weeks of April, um, we were working hard to get all of these assets invested per the strategic asset allocation that you all adopted in your investment policy statement. So basically, that entailed liquidating assets from different bank accounts, including Fifth Third or, and uh, portfolio accounts, Fifth Third, Morgan Stanley, and Harris. And then as those monies came in, um, investing those in these new mutual funds, again, per your policy. Um, the second thing on the page is about some municipal bonds that are held, um, these Hammond municipal bonds. We did not sell those uh, because it was more economic to not sell them. So those are simply being held, um, and you will be continuing to collect interest payments on those, and those will be maturing over the next year, basically. So then as that occurs, of course, we'll put those to work in the new um, portfolio. And then uh, basically that's it for the update. So then we thought we would just do a really quick preview of what our reporting looks like so that the next time you see it, when it has kind of real numbers in it, it won't be a, a new topic for you. So if you would, please just turn in behind tab one, and then you can turn to pages one and two there, and I'll turn it back to Joe Bill. So when we go over a report on a quarterly basis, we're looking at the previous quarter's investment returns and what happened in the market. So we generally give a brief market overview, kind of give you a sense of what happened, what asset classes uh, and styles did well, did poorly, because that obviously will help us explain the total performance of your portfolio. We'll have a quick snapshot that shows the actual allocation at the end of the given quarter versus the strategic allocation 
which is outlined in your investment policy statement. We have each of the managers and the market value of the, of the uh, assets that they're holding. And then we give you a quick snapshot down below. It's just a, a stoplight grid. Green's good, yellow, we might have something we bring up about a particular manager. If there's a red stoplight, then we're going to uh, probably require or suggest some action. Um, so this is just a quick way to look at things and say, you know, where are we right now? But like we said, um, because all of the trades were happening kind of at the end of March and beginning of April, these numbers that you see aren't really reflective of where exactly your portfolio is, just giving the timing difference, because this happened at the end of March. We always report at the end of a quarter. Um, so you see that your return chart is blank because we didn't have one yet. We, so the next time you see this, which will be as of June 30th, there will be real data in here. Um, so then if you turn to the next page, uh, basically, this is where we would dig into more detail. So as you can kind of see how this goes, it's from the top down. First we talk about the broad markets, then we give a summary view of your portfolio, and then we dig further into that. So on page three, this is where we would show you how your actual allocation compares to what your allocation is in your policy, and that's where we would say whether we need to do any type of rebalancing or anything like that. And then on page four, um, again, this will make a lot more sense when we have a full quarter's worth of data, but page four is where you kind of boil down your performance into um, dollar figures. So you start with the prior quarter market value, then we show any kind of deposits or withdrawals that occurred. You'll see any investment gains or losses, which again, there aren't any here because of the timing, and then it'll kind of all reconcile to your current ending uh, market value. And then. The following pages are just the individual managers who are managing money in your portfolio uh, and will show you uh, basically your portfolio performance relative to uh, a benchmark and a peer group. And each of these pages reflect the actual managers that are in your portfolio. We just have the composite returns for these managers on these pages right now. We do want to take you though back to um, page, right after page 18, which is the last manager page, we have basically a payment schedule for uh, the external municipal bonds. The red uh, numbers reflect payments that have already occurred. The black are what, uh, have, uh, what are yet to come. So this is just a schedule that um, we put together we thought would be useful to you. As Amanda indicated, as these uh, bonds mature, we'll be investing uh, these dollars according to the investment policy statement going forward. And then there's just some informational stuff in the back that um, we thought, you know, our clients find helpful uh, as, we, uh, uh, as we go through the meetings. So uh, that's really all we have. And, uh, all right. Any questions of uh, what we've been uh, presented with this evening? Seems like as we sort of drill through this thing, uh, looking for, you know, we'll have some more uh, detailed discussions about performance and those sorts of things. Um, and that will come in the next meeting. We'll have <laughs> performance information in the as of 6:30. Okay. If that's that, thank you so much for okay. coming. Appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. See you all. Thank you. And. Um, our attorney's report, Scott, anything? It's just the uh, setting of the next meeting that has one in the third quarter. Um, so I think we should stick with one in probably the last month of the third quarter. Setting that and see if we can do something that would be what? Uh, September? Then we could probably do something on the night that we're having a budget meeting, I would assume. So we could have this first and go right into a council meeting. We're going to have a time. What would that last Tuesday of September be? Twenty fifth. Should we maybe do it like the first week in October so we get that get September the report, yeah. result? The quarterly. The so quarter. We gotta have it. We gotta have a meeting every week. Our timing is bad. I would say the first week of the October they won't have the quarter report. They won't be have it yet. Okay. <coughs> How does the 27th of September feel for everybody? Okay. Sounds good. We're okay with our non-voting members and everybody else, all right? I'm, I'm great. <laughs> Feeling the love. Yep. Um, okay. 
So we'll um, we'll do it 27th of September at 5 p.m. Harold, do you have anything for us? I do not. Anything else we need to bring in front of us this evening? Hearing none, uh, this meeting will stand adjourned. <laughs>